out here in Chittenango today on a very beautiful Thursday out here at the race shop of 19-year-old hobby stock driver Todd Cagle. If the last name sounds familiar, that means you're paying attention. His dad, <laughs> grandfather, excuse me, was Howie Cagle, who was a, a street stock and pure stock and you name it, any kind of stock cars, basically, he drove them back on the outlaw circuit. Todd has been out once this year. He raced as a rookie in 2020, and he actually raced once as a very young kid, uh, seven years old. If you ever heard of Little Wheels Raceway, they always had a booth at the yep. uh, Motorsports Expo and, of course, the parts peddler thing. A great opportunity to get your kids uh, some time in a race car. Todd, how we been, man? Good. How about yourself? Not bad. I, I noticed we were just working on the race car. What are we working on? Just uh, we just swapped the motor out, so we we're putting this one back in and trying to figure out what our starter problem was. And my grandpa came back in town and fired it up for us. What was the starter problem? The flywheel was on backwards. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So rookie was, mistake. Rookie mistake. So your grandfather saw that and went, guys, right? Yep. Come on, right? <laughs> it's like a fuel filter. Had a good laugh on. Good laugh with us. Well, at least we did. So at least, at least it wasn't a big fix or anything like that. Nope. We didn't have to buy any new parts. It didn't mess up the flywheel, did it? No. Nah. Okay, good, good. Uh, how much did you get out last year as a rookie? Um, five or six races. How'd we do? Not bad. I uh, finished third in one heat for my, I think, second race. And my best finish in the feature was uh, fifth. Not bad. You got a top five already. Yeah. Okay. Now, why didn't it catch at seven years old? Because a lot of kids, when they get in there at seven, it's just the start of a ten-year journey. Oh, you, yeah. you only did it once. Yeah, we uh, we had two cars at the time. My father's and my grandfather's. They were racing uh, factory stock, hobby stocks, and I wanted to race, so we got into little wheels, and they were focused on their car more. So. Ah, uh, just what timing was it right? There? Yeah. Okay. So, so when did we start saying, okay, Todd, we're getting you a big car and you're going racing? Uh, 2019, me and my father went to two tracks a weekend. And we finally, I was like, Dad, I want to race. So we went on and bought a race car. Was, were you scouting or were you just going? And, and Or did you have the intention in, the whole no. time of let's find a division that I can race in? No, we were just, just fans and wanted, okay. and then I just decided, why not? Why not? Okay. Why hobby stock? They raced it before, so we somewhat know the cars. Gotcha. And I hear a lot of good things about this class, although you told me there's almost two kinds of hobby stocks. There's the IMCA rules, and then these other tracks are not necessarily running the IMCA rules. Yes. What's different, or do you know? That's their own. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, I was it, curious. It's, if you... it's the grit series they have, the mm -hmm. IMCA hobby stocks they have. It's the Nick Starks and all them. Yes. Their oh. rules. And Those then, are the IMCA. Yeah. Okay. All right, and everybody else is a little bit different. So what's the plan? You told me you might actually get to a track that your grandfather raced at a lot this year. Yep, that's my that's the track I'm running for points this year, Skyline. Mm -hmm. And I'll be there hopefully every Sunday from now on. And that's the plan right now. You said later in the year you might get to try a different track? Yep, uh, Thunder I might go to this year. Uh -huh. I plan on going to Afton at least once, uh, five mile. I wanted to go to this Saturday, but it's not going to. Looking that forward that way. Okay. Well, we just uh, got some little things to button up yeah. on the car. Okay. And yeah, we might try Glenridge, though, okay. up in Fonda. Did you also mention Fulton might be trying you guys oh, later in the year? Yep. In July, I'm planning on going to Fulton. Mm -hmm. And my dad might drive it one night, okay. one of those two nights that well, they race. I mean, so. he knows how they feel, right? I mean, yeah. as much as you want to be in there, it would be nice to have dad's feedback. Because yeah. I imagine part of what's going on is they don't know if it's you or the car still, right? Right. He's always wanted to race at Fulton, so I got to give him the opportunity. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's the old outlaw circuit exactly. at this point. Do you have a plan in place, or are we kind of just taking this season one race at a time and seeing how it goes? Well, as you know, my cousin is racing, James Donaldson. So we have two different kind of cars on the track, and we're going to go see what car is better and see what's what, what we're doing wrong on each car. And so we have two cars and to work with, and if one works on one, we can try it on mine. And, mm -hmm. So it's a double whammy, I guess you could say. So how cool is it to be a 19-year-old just out of school and you got a stock car and you're racing, man? Yeah, it's it's awesome. I this is the best sport I've ever done, and mm -hmm. I've played almost every sport out there, and it's aggravating, fun, but a blast. It's I think the adrenaline oh. rush factor is higher than maybe. Yeah. Well, what other sports did you do? I played lacrosse. Okay. Baseball basketball wrestled so all the common sports yeah okay. what was your favorite out of those lacrosse i played lacrosse all through high school okay uh, and now is this not even close oh no what? yeah <laughs> yeah as soon as you get on that track the nerves everything go away and it, forget about life for that minute mm -hmm. and it's just you in the car do you still do you have are you one of the guys who has the, the nervous race day stomach oh yeah 
Always, Every day. Huh? I get nervous until I pull on the track. <laughs> stage yeah, and lane. Yeah, once you're moving. Yep, stage and lane, all that, I get nervous. Mm-hmm. So uh, how do you get through a race day then on uh, no food? <laughs> or do you make yourself? <laughs> no, I, I, it's, it's family. That's what makes it. Mm-hmm. If the family wasn't there, I don't think I could do it. Well, who, who's with? I mean, we talked about your grandfather. Who else? What other family members are helping out? Uh, well, my grandpa's only here for the weekend. Oh. Because they, 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 he lives in Florida. So I see. On a normal race night, it's just me, my father, my girlfriend, my mom, and my brother and my cousin. Okay. It's just a straight-up family. Um, and unlike a lot of other sports, like when you were playing lacrosse, yep. they're not able to talk to you during the game. Nope. They're not, this really is, I've always said, this really is only, the only true family sport out yeah. there because everybody plays a role on race night, don't they? Oh, yeah. It's If it wasn't for my dad, he spent hours in this garage and... Not even close to amount as I have. And if it wasn't for him, I couldn't do this. So if, if you want a family sport, this is the way to go. So roughly, what is the range to get into a hobby stock? Because I've, 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 I, mean, I know sportsmen are out of control yeah, right yeah. now to, to do that. So what would be a range if somebody was thinking about getting one of these roughly? Um, 10, 15? That's a race ready. I'm okay. sure you can get one race ready. I bought mine for two. As a roller, no motor, no nothing. Mm-hmm. And my dad, he, as you know, my grandfather raced. Yeah, so he he, my dad had all the connections, and we just knew people that raced. We you know Buck Mills Jr. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, it's him and Jason and the whole Mills family and Thomas is, I mean, if, they, if it wasn't for them either, I wouldn't know what I was doing. By the way, guys, uh, we're getting close to our subscription goal. I'm going to be watching to see how many you get. I'm challenging all you friends of Todd. Give me five new subscriptions on this, guys. There we're we getting go. close. So uh, that's our goal. And, of course, if you want to support and anything like that, uh, we can surely tell you how you can do that. So what's left to do to button this thing up to race ready? Or is it ready now? Oh, um, we got to put the shroud on. Just little things. Nothing mm-hmm. crazy. I mean, if I really had to race to, on Saturday, I could. Mm-hmm. But I'm not stressing about it. If I... I'm making it Sunday. I can promise that. I'm making it Sunday. Well, two race days also cost twice the money, too. So That's okay. Uh, it's okay? We're, yeah. Okay, it's, good. It's, it's all about the fun. All right. Family and fun. So where will we be? Skyline this Sunday? Skyline Sunday. And if I do race Saturday, it'll be a five mile. So there is still a possibility. Slight. 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 All right. All right. Well, again, guys, make sure that you subscribe. There's going to be a little blue E. It might even be up there right now, right there in that corner. All you got to do is click on that, and it'll send you a message with the title. And it's a really nice page, too. Somebody have, some of the people have shown me what uh, YouTube does, and it really yeah. does make it nice. So good seeing you. I want you, you to call me back when you get your first win. Okay? Yeah. We'll come back out. Hopefully this year. All right. We'll back the car out. We'll let everybody see the winning car. We're just giving them a little tease right now. It's a Monte Carlo <laughs> hobby stock. But uh, I wish you all the best. So please keep in touch, man. Okay? Yeah, of course. All right, guys, remember, subscribe, and let me know if I can get your favorite driver on the channel.